Creative masking using Cyberlink's PowerDirector 365. Here's a mock-up of an idea that came to me after creating my last masking video using Corel's Video Studio. Let's check it out. Nice idea, give myself a glass. Problems arose because of my apartment. The stand I put the glass on on the table was too dark. The light source in my apartment coming through three separate windows, which leaves a lot of shadows on the table. Masking was complicated, but we'll get into it and I'll show you some tips and tricks and see how it was done. So here we are in Power Director 365. I've already emptied my media library and I'm going to bring in my single take video file that I recorded it. Give me the glass. And as you can see, I've already made a shadow file or a proxy file for this video. I want to drop this video down onto track one and we're going to split it into three separate videos. Go to the scissors tool. Make sure we're on multi trim. Set your size larger using this button here so that you can see the whole track depending on, on your file of course. First thing we need to do is we need to mark it in. This is going to be track one. Use the scrubber, scrub it along. The reason we're using this track one video background is because the leaves on the garden on the other balcony on the building they're moving and we need them to set the, the tone for this video there i am coming in bringing in and we will stop it there now mark it out this is now track one so now i'm going to put my stand on the table and as you can see as this is a mock-up the stand is not ideal it's dark it's leaving the shadow and the light sources, I have three separate light sources coming in through windows, so it's causing a lot of shadows. That is also not ideal, but for this mock-up, we're going to leave it at that. So I'm going to run this along, scrub it, scrub it, until we see him coming in again with the glass somewhere around here. Mark it in, scrub it along. And there you can see all the shadows and problems, but it's, not, it's, it's okay, I don't mind. Now, when I put the glass on the stand, I'm trying to keep the base of the gla glass as close to the stand as possible so that you don't actually see the glass go down so much when I place it on the stand. As you can see, it's just around there. It's really, really small area. And note also that I'm holding the glass with the stem, not the, the bowl of the glass. Hold it for a second or two and release it. And we should end it somewhere around, let's say here, mark it out. This is now track two. Now we're going to go over to the other side and I'm going to take the glass. So I'm going to scrub it along and there it comes in and somewhere around there, mark it in. Scrub it all the way along, sit down, pretend you've got, oh, I've got, I've got something to drink, let me have a taste of that. Now notice that I'm taking the glass from the bowl of the glass so that the hands don't touch each other as the giver is holding the glass on the stem here so he takes the glass and says thank you very much yeah it's a pretty nice drink there's nothing in the glass it's empty but we'll drop it round about there just for this tutorial now we have our three tracks we can click ok and here they are now i'm going to drop each one down onto its appropriate track so track two goes down onto track two Track three, the taker goes on to track three. Note now that I've stepped the videos on the separate tracks. The reason I'm doing this is because when I click here, view entire video, it separates them nicely so that I can move each video separately. If I had them all in line here, all three videos would be stretched here and that would cause problems. So there's tip number one. This is good. 
Now we're going to go to track one. This is our background. This is the movement on the bushes on, this, on the opposing balcony garden that they've got there. So we've got some movement in there, that's fine. And also, you can see here, I coughed. So we're going to mute this clip. We don't need any sound on there. And also go to edit and take a snapshot. It usually does it in uh, Documents, CyberLink, PowerDirect, uh, we'll just click Save, it's fine. And here's our snapshot. Bring this down onto track one and place it after. You'll know, I'll give you the reason why I'm doing this in a moment. And now we're going to go to track two, because now we're going to start creating our masks. So we're going to bring track two into somewhere around, let's say here, it doesn't matter. You could have it afterwards, and for this tutorial, I'm just going to bring it in here. Go back to the beginning of this track. Make sure this track is selected. Tools, Mask Designer. This opens up our Mask Designer. I have already got some masks. I'm going to delete these because this is what I was trying out this tutorial before. Click yes. Go back up, click on this, make sure there are no masks. Now these are preset masks, we're not going to use any of those because they cause problems. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use this, this is called a create a custom mask and these we, points, we can manipulate the points. What we're going to do is we're going to cut around this and its shadow so that it's hidden. So we're going to click on mask so we've got mask one and we're going to click on around as you can see it's it's at 50 percent opacity now the reason we used the background i'm going to cancel this for a moment the reason we've got our background is so that we can see when we're masking if i hide the background and then go and mask designer and try this again oh it's just black I can't see what I'm masking that's no good so make sure that you've got a background in so that you can see what you're doing mask designer go back in click on this and now we can see how easy that is you can go up here and zoom in Click on the hand tool, move it around so you can see it. Make sure that you also click the selection mode again, otherwise you won't be able to click anywhere on the screen to create your mask. Now I'm going to click above this to give us four points. And the reason is because we want to move the points as he puts the glass on the stand. Otherwise it would cover the base of the glass. So I'm going to click two, three, four. Now we can take it all the way down because we don't actually have any movement on the base. So we can, I'm going to bring that in a little bit just in case his hand touches it. Now, as you can see, it's brought this back into focus. And what we need to do now is invert the mask to make it disappear again. And we'll click OK to set it. And there we have, it's gone, it's disappeared. And if you scrub it along, you'll see it comes in and you can see the shadow now is touching the mask and on the table. That is, yeah, these are the problems I, I got. And um, But anyway, he comes up, puts the glass on the table and then he puts the glass on the stand and you'll see the glass base start to disappear as you can see it there. Now, the snapshot ends here. So once we go past the background snapshot, oops, there's a big black mark there. We don't, we don't want that. So we're going to take this snapshot, press control, click the left mouse button, drag it to the end of this clip, and now he's got the mask on top of the glass. So we need to move the mask, as you can see, so that it shows the base of the glass. 
So we're going to scrub it back, scrub it back just enough to give us about, let's say, somewhere around that area. Now, if you set it here, make sure your track two is selected. Go to tools, mask designer, and it's already in the position waiting for us. So now all we have to do is just keyframe it around there. Now we can move these points slowly at first, not too much, just to, so that we can keep showing the base of the glass as he brings it into view there. So we'll bring that one down, we're going to bring this one down, and this one. Don't bring them down too much, obviously, because it's going to show the black, which is not quite what we're after. That's And as the glass covers the bottom, the top of the stand that we're putting it on we can start bringing these down a little bit more a little bit of finesse is 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 much better the more you do it the, the more you can also go, go here and resize it so you can see what you're doing a little bit better but for this tutorial we're just going to do this quickly just to show you how this was done now this this can come up a little bit back up a little bit i don't mind so much about that i'm going to leave this one there let's just see how the, the glass is going on the stand it seems to be going on pretty fine i think it's pretty good there i'm just going to drop this down there just a touch more oh that might have gone a bit too much you see that showed up too much of the black so we're going to go here Let's see what happens. The glass comes down a little bit. And that it starts to drop down just a touch. I'm just going to drop these down just a touch more. And the glass is now on the stand. It seems OK. I'm going to click OK. I always click OK afterwards and then re-go again if I need to edit it because I like to make sure that it's taken what it, what I've done. I did this once before and I didn't click OK. I kept manipulating it and all of a sudden it just messed up. So I, every time I do this, I always click OK. And then if I need to do it again, I'll go back and then redo some more. So we've got our first background set up. We've got some movement in the leaves. Now, as he comes in, we don't need the movement in the leaves anymore because our focus is now on me with the glass so when it goes to snapshot it doesn't matter if those backgrounds not moving anymore because your eyes are going to be on what is this fat boy doing what is he up to here and it puts the glass on the stand and there you go the glass is on the stand it's pretty neat it's quite invisible it looks it looks good i'm happy with that now we can concentrate on our track three Track three, you need to get the timing right. So when he gives the glass, track three needs to take the glass. So the timing needs to be good here. But we're not going to be able to see any timing because as he comes in, this guy is not here anymore, even though he's on this track, because we need to create a mask here to go all around the glass, go all around it and go and cover all this area so that we can see both people. And that's what we're going to do now. So make sure track 3 is selected. Go to tools. Mask designer. So now we're on track 3. And here's the mask from track 1. Do not use this mask. Don't drag this onto here. Because once you edit it here, it also edits the same mask on track 2. That's going to cause you some problems. So we're going to create a mask. It'll still be here, but it's editing on this track. And as you can see, the guys come in, um, that's fine, doesn't matter. What we need to do is we need to cut around the base of the glass and, and this stem. The same thing we did in track one. So we'll go back to the beginning. Click our Create Custom Mask. And now we cl click all around the base of the glass. 
again. One, two, three, four. I'm going to keep them quite close to what the original mask looked like on track two so that it kind of helps a little bit. So there we have it. Invert it. That's good. That's our track one. I'm going to click OK so that we've got that mask. So now you can see the guy comes in on track one. There's no stand, but the glass is still there. We're going to remove the glass with our second mask. So he grabs the glass and there you see he takes it. Now as he takes the glass, you'll notice that we can still see the top. And this is where we have to now manipulate mask one to cover that back up as the glass is lifted off. But first things first, track it back to the beginning. Make sure track three selected tools, mask designer. Now we're going to add another mask. Now we're on mask 2. And this is where we're going to cut all this glass away from here, all the way down, and all this area. Now I like to use the lines in this video because they're pretty sweet and they hide it better if there's some kind of artifact coming from the mask, the masking process. So we're going to click here. Make sure we're on mask 2 and start at the top. And we're going to go all the way down to the glass, somewhere around here. I'm going to click, I'm going to put three points here. Now I'm going to put another two more points here because his hand comes to grab the, the bowl of the glass. So we need to move these points comparable to his fingers. And also the other guy's hand is holding the stem. So we need points to allow for his fingers. So allow some points. Go around the base of the glass. Don't take it too far because his hand is somewhere here. We don't know where it is just yet. I'm going to go all the way down here. Take it to the end. To this corner. And now seal the mask here. As you see it changes to a finger. We now have mask 2. Invert this mask. Now we can see the guy is coming in. I'm going to click OK again to make sure that's set. Now when we brush our masks in, you see the guy comes in, puts the glass there. The other guy comes in. Oh, hey, what's happening here? And now we need to set our timing. So he's going to say, oh, look, I've got this drink. Would you like to try it? And he puts the glass up to make it look like he's holding the glass for him to try and take it. And he puts his hand up. Oh, let me have a look. And you can see his fingers disappearing in the mask on track three. Now he's taking the glass. You need him to lift the glass at the same time as the other guy's hand goes away. That is quite close, I think. I'm going to just move it just a touch more. That might be a bit too much. Let's try that. And he's going to grab the glass, and there you go. We see he takes it, and he lifts it. Now, obviously, you can see the glass because we haven't moved the mask yet, which is quite good. So we're going to just scrub it back just so his fingers are just going towards the glass. Take it a little bit more. Somewhere around there. Make sure we're on track three. Tools. Mask designer. Now his hand is coming in. His hand is already covering the base of the glass, the stem of the glass. So what we need to do is we need to manipulate mask two, remember, not mask one. His fingers are coming right close to the glass. So we can now actually start moving just a little bit these points. You see those white squares? You can actually manipulate those and make them so that the, the curve, the blue line, curves exactly like Photoshop. And you can also, if you go somewhere on the blue line, you can also add another point if you need to. I'm not going to add any more points on this because this is just a mock-up. 
So there's his gun, his fingers are there. We're not going to touch these yet because his hand is not moving. Click this, click it one more time. That looks about, his fingers are going to touch the glass again. We can move it a little bit more. Don't try to move the mask so that you can actually see the glass all together immediately because you see that bit there, there's a little line and it's touching his finger. You might cause it to look strange. So he's going, he's still going to touch the glass. His fingers are getting really close to the glass. I'm just going to move these, these top ones a little bit more just to get them out of the way. I'm not going to touch that one now. He's almost grabbing the bowl of the glass. Just keep keyframing it. It's quite good there. You see his fingers are not going anymore. He's pretty much got the glass, I think, there. Oh, that's... Let's move this a little bit more. I think, I think we could move them all the way to the end of the glass now. this one. I'm not going to move this, I'll move this one down actually. So that shows the, the glass. We could start moving some of these because we need to show the base of the glass a little bit as well as he lifts the glass up. Keyframe a few more times. Now he's actually gripping the glass there, right there. So that is pretty neat. And as you see, as he lifts the glass up, his hand is moving away. Now we need to move these up so that it hides track two's mask that we've done and brings in the stem because his stem is now coming into view. I'm gonna move that a little bit more. I'm gonna move this one now just for the sake of that. Keyframe it. See the glass is actually lifting up. His fingers are still covering the stem of the glass. So be careful when I'm going to be careful when I move these. As you can see, it's actually going up. We can actually start moving some of these closer to his fingers. Somewhere there. Now you can see just closely you can see that this the stem on the track two is showing so we need to you need to be really careful you don't cut off his fingers but you show the glass on track three now when this runs because it's we're keyframing it now but when this runs full speed it should be pretty sweet we're going to just move this a little bit more each time the glass has actually gone off the, off the stand now we don't actually need to do anything more with the base i don't think we pull it away just two more and then just make sure that we've put these more or less in a straight line which should now hide the base of the glass and that's about it now as you can see we can still see the top of the the, the, the stand we'll fix that in a moment now i'm going to run this just a little bit more just keep clicking this a few times and there you can see it's done i'm going to click ok to make sure this is set and we can scrub it along and see what it looks like so he puts the glass on the stand hey what are you doing and he goes and grabs the glass and then he takes the glass and there you are giving myself the glass and that is how it's done now all you need to do is manipulate track three mask one to cover the base of the glass as it lifts up as you can see somewhere around that area that's a pretty good sign make sure you're on track three tools mask designer make sure we're on mask one and just keyframe it again one frame at a time keep lifting it up and just lift this up as you can see we can lift these up a little bit 
Now you're going to have to do this also on track two. I also noticed that happened as well, that it showed up on, even though I did it here on track three, it still showed up on track two. So you're going to have to do this on track two, judging how his hand position is and, and where you are. That looks good to me. I'm going to click OK. Scrub it along again just to see what happens. And you can still see that now you can see that there's track two's glass is stood there because track three has now opened up track two. So that's where you need to move track two. So it's somewhere around there. So you've got a track two. Mask designer. And as you can see, his hand is moving away. Now we can bring these up. As his hand moves away because track three mask is now open these up. So just move these a little bit more, just just to bring that into perspective. You can see the base a little bit more there. I don't want to see that. I will bring that up as well. His hand is pretty much gone from there now. We can just manipulate these. I'm going to click OK. And we should actually be quite close. And there you go. And because this is a low resolution file, of course, it's going to look quite, and well, you'll see a few artifacts, but obviously because the stand is black, that's what's happening there. But other than that, that is how it's done. And he takes the glass. Well done. And of course, once you go past the background, then that's good. But I would, I would cut it somewhere there and I wouldn't mess with this. I would produce this now and, and then I would bring it back into photo director and into, sorry, to power director and I would cut it along that line. So it stands, it's, it's there like I did earlier. So that's how it was done. I had a great time doing it and um, I learned a lot using power director. Add a comment down below, click subscribe, there's plenty more where that came from. Every week should be posting videos, so stay tuned, stay safe people. Catch you later.